everyone, welcome to TTV News with some latest events in the province. And now we come into details. Ladies and gentlemen, the supervisory delegations of the Central Committee for Emulations and Accommodations has just had a working session in Trung Dong Khmer Hoa House on the implementations of the emulations movement with the motto, The whole country joined hands to build a new rural area, phase 2021-2025. The supervisory delegation was led by Mr. Pham Dik Tuang, deputy head of the Central Committee for Evaluation and Commendation. In 2021, Trung Dong was recognized by the Provincial People's Committee to meet the new enhanced rural standard. Their material and spiritual life of the people is constantly being improved and enhanced. And according to Mr. Hun Ting Hung, chairman of the Commune People's Committee, the commune's per capita income, according to recent statistics, has increased higher, about 70 million Vietnam Tong per person per year. The commune is implementing the new model of rural great area. At the meeting, the members of the monitoring delegation asked the commune to explain more clearly about the models contributing to the construction of new style rural areas in the locality, also be products of the commune, the difficulties, obstacles, and recommendations when implementing the model of new style rural areas. Speaking at the meeting, Mr. Pham Duc Tuang, deputy head of the Central Committee for Evaluation and Combination, highly appreciated the Trung commune's way of achieving the criteria of the newly enhanced rural commune with the new rural model criteria with many higher criteria. The commune needs to come up with more appropriate solutions to try to achieve the criteria with the highest quality. At the same time, the commune should continue to pay more attention to timely praise and rewards of collectives and individuals with the achievements, propaganda and replication of models that create enthusiasm for the immigration throughout the province. Then, the delegation also went to visit the protest of motto of growing in the greenhouses of Mr. Pham Hong Khan, living in Trung Phu Hamlets, Trung Dong Commune and Tang Ying Company Limited, specialized in producing rice paper, which is the first style OCOP products of the province. On the afternoon of October the 19th, the emulation block of the Fatherland Front and provincial social political organizations led by the provincial Vietnam Fatherland Front Committee held a meeting to celebrate the 92nd founding anniversary of the Vietnam Women's Union and Vietnamese Women's Day October the 20th. Speaking at the meeting, Chairman of the Vietnam Fatherland Front Committee of the province, Nguyen Văn Hợp, acknowledged and respectfully thanked the contribution of the women in the social economic development of the province. Mr. Nguyen Văn Hợp also believes that in different responsibilities and positions, and regardless of position or any position, the women in the bloc will continue to promote the glorious tradition of Vietnamese women and make every effort to strive, train and unite the women in agencies and groups, help each other in study, in labor, in working, and successfully complete on a side task. And also on the occasion of the Vietnamese Women's Day, the Labour Confederation of the Nguyen Province held the first talented and talented female official contest on October the 20th. The candidates who are female union officials of the Labour Confederation of District Tau and Tinan City participated in the talent competition and the traditional Aoyai Chairman contest and also performed the trade union identification costume. Through the competition browse, the contestants are well prepared and applied free staged. Many performance convinced by the judge and the audience. And as a result, the organizing committee awarded one first prize to contestant Nguyen Thi Huệ An, units of the Bong Trang Primary School, Royal District, and also awarding two second prizes and three third prizes and many consideration prizes to the participating contestants. Recently, the monitoring delegations of the Provincial Steering Committee for Revention and Control of Cigarettes, HAM, came to monitor and support units in Tân Châu and Tân Bình districts on the revention of cigarettes for HAM. The monitoring team led by Director Nguyễn Văn Cường, Deputy Director of the Department of Hau, Deputy Head of the Steering Committee. The delegation visited the headquarters of the People's Committee of Tân Bình Tau and Tân Phu High School, the headquarters of the People's Committee of Tân Châu Tau and Tân Châu High School. Then, the delegation worked with the Steering Committees for the Severed Harm Prevention and Control for the two districts. 
to the physical inspection, the headquarters and schools have implemented the work of propagating regulations on smoking bans and red flags, propagating about serious harms, but the delegation still found a cigarette burst on some premises and some places. And the delegation also discussed contributed ideas and removed difficulties when implementing the law on prevention and control of cigarette harms in the locality. Concluding the meeting with representatives of the string committees of districts, the delegation suggested that localities continue to perform well their activities to prevent and control the harmful effects of tobacco as well as cigarettes, such as strengthening propaganda to the people about the harmful effects of tobacco and cigarettes, laws and prevention and control of cigarette harms, imposing penalties for violators of the law on prevention and control of cigarette harm in the locality and put the contents of no smoking in the emulation criteria of officials, employees, and also report the content on prevention of serious harms in the annual summary report of each affiliated unit. Implement the Investment Trade Tourism Promotion Program in 2022. The Department of Planning and Investments was assigned to assume the right responsibilities for updating information, compiling and republishing the publications tenant the destination investment. Currently, the Tenant Department of Planning and Investment has notified units with the function of complying, editing, and designing notes. Printing packages of documents in the field of investment try to the contact Department of Land Investment to implement. The Department of Land Investment also organized the selection of contractors according to regulations. According to the plan, the publication of the investment destination will be printed 1,000 copies in Vietnamese and also 1,000 copies in English. Tenant is actively promoting local development integration in the southern key economic region, maximize potential advantages, improve the labor productivity, synchronously develop transport infrastructure, and focus on completing traffic projects connecting with the southern key economic region, forming a national and regional urban and industrial corridor access along the Ho Chi Minh City Mobile Expressway, and step by step building a digital economy, digital society, and smart city, while strongly improving the investment environment in the direction of being friendly, transparent, professional, and highly competitive, innovating to improve the quality of investment promotion activities in practical and effective manner. Eleven elderly individuals have just been commanded by the People's Committee of Human Jiao District at the conference to honor the outstanding examples of elderly in the movement of on people protect national security in the 2016 to 2020 period. And currently, in the district, there are nine effective operating models, including the self-governing residential groups, the people's patrols mobilizing the whole population to participate in denunciation, arresting criminals in residential areas, and mobilizing Kaurai worshippers, self-governing station on security and order, fishing team to maintain security and order in Yoting Lake area, and using cameras in the fight against crime, safety, and security of Yumin Chow High School, former police officers participating in maintaining security and order and reintegrating into the community. And most of the motor members have the farmers with over 360 elderly people, and each member is aware of the sense of responsibility in crime prevention, self-management, and education of family members also, strictly abide by the law, contributing to the maintenance of the local security and order. Ladies and gentlemen, mass mobilization plays a very important role in promoting the active roles of religious, dignitaries, and believers in building risk national unity, social economic development, mental security, and order in the province. Tinan has more than 700,000 followers of different religions and 290 places of worship. Good models and new ways of doing things are also relatively and practically built in localities. With a campaign on people united to build a new style rural areas and a civilized city, Tinan joins hand for the poor, leaving no one behind. Religious compatriots increasingly participate in patriotic emulation movements such as building new style rural areas and civilized cities, homeless and neighborhoods without social evils, building a civilized belief and religions foundation, contributing to ensuring the security and order in the locality. And during the times of COVID-19 pandemic affecting not only strict compliance with the regulations on pandemic prevention and control, 
dignitaries and officials and followers of religions also actively participating in the fight against the pandemic together with the local authorities. The representative of more of Gaudai Horosi in Tinan province guide the dignitaries, positions and co-workers and the followers and works for health to participate in pandemic prevention and control very well complying with the direction of the government. And relations in the province have also solidarity for the movements, big festival for the country, religious organizations on participate in immerse themselves in the common life of society. In the past five years, religious organizations and individuals have contributed to support the local Falun Front Committee to build 84 right solidarity houses with a total value of more than 6.5 billion Vietnam Dong, 18 charity houses worth about 525 million Vietnam Dong, and in communities, dozens of other houses of the poor were repaired and operated by the religious organizations. The grassroots religious organizations have also accompanied the locality in many aspects to their work and have supported money and human resources to install light bulbs and security cameras on 31 roads, totaling more than 5 billion Vietnam Dong, and cleaning more than 220 rural roads with a total length of about 300 kilometers, in order to promote the effectiveness of environmental protection, build bright, green, clean, and beautiful residential areas in the ethnic and religious communities. Tinan province continues to replicate the environmental protection motto among religious people for green, clean, beautiful roads, mobilizing the people of all religions to participate in implementing the motto of a bright, green, clean, and beautiful environment. In implementing the five contents of the campaign through the annual coordination program, there is a plan to coordinate with religion in which to build a motto of caring for the poor with difficult circumstances in addition to the counterpart fund of the poor fund. And the religious organization in the district has also donated more than 600 million Vietnam Dung to have 50 households and followers with difficult circumstances in their life. In recent years, religious people and followers in the province have actively participated in all aspects of social life, especially actively participating in patriotic campaigns and movements developed by the party, the state, and the front committee, the motion, and thereby contributing to strengthening the right national unit bloc, contributing to social economic development, and stabilizing the local life. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for TTV News today. Thanks for joining with us and see you next time.